trailer for Chaos Theory is here. Not only that, we've got a synopsis, a new poster, a release date, and a bunch of screenshots which reveal even more about this upcoming animated adventure. Welcome back to Jurassic Outpost. Let's break down this new trailer and examine the details about Jurassic World Chaos Theory. Set six years after the events at Camp Cretaceous, members of the New Blast 6 are struggling to find their footing off the islands, navigating a world now filled with dinosaurs and people who want to hurt them. Reunited in the wake of a tragedy, the group comes together only to find themselves on the run and catapulted into a global adventure to unravel a conspiracy that threatens the dinosaur and humankind alike and finally learn the truth about what happened to one of their own. That is the official synopsis of the show, which will debut on Netflix May 24th, so mark your calendars. You'll be diving back into the animated world of Jurassic very soon. Chaos Theory will feature 10 episodes at roughly 22 minutes each. The show is being exec produced by the classics Steven Spielberg, Colin Trevorrow, and Frank Marshall, and show run by two names we've heard from Camp Cretaceous, Scott Creamer and Aaron Hammersley. The supervising producer is Zessan Kang. So before we dive into the trailer, let's quickly check out the poster and the screenshots. Chaos comes home. Love that tagline. Darius stares through the jaws of a dinosaur. What do you think this dinosaur is? It looks likely to be one of the Atrociraptors, perhaps an Allosaurus, but very likely an Atrociraptor. We speculated that the Atrociraptors might return in the show, and it looks like the rumors were true. Hopefully their handler may show up as well. I do have another job for you. Short hot money's double. Back to that poster, only on Netflix, May 24th. It certainly is setting a tone for us. Chaos Theory won't be holding back on the terror, and this trailer backs that up. The first screenshot shows us a near enough modern day Ben, looking much taller than his former self. You might not have noticed this as it's pretty well hidden, but right behind him, if you look really close, you can make out the silhouette of a dinosaur there. The next show, the next shows us Ben standing much taller than Darius here, both shining torches. This is a very Jurassic looking shot for me. Nighttime torches is easy enough. What are they looking at here? Or what are they looking for? The next shows us what I presume is the Atrociraptor staring right back at Ben and Darius chilling, really. These two bad boys or girls are giving off Lost World Tiger Raptor vibes. And the next screenshot changes to a slightly brighter location. Darius runs from one of the Atrociraptors. You can see large trucks in the background which have cages on the rear, no doubt for dinosaurs. Everybody seems to be poaching these days. All right, let's get into the trailer. We open up on the Universal logo, the DreamWorks logo, the Amblin logo, before a news report shows us a flashback of the New Blast 6, having just returned home from their wacky, thrilling adventure. We see all of the campers here. The trailer then flashes back through some scenes from Camp Cretaceous, the first episode arriving at camp, zip lining, the gyrospheres from the first season, we see shots from season two, the T-Rex on Main Street, while the newscaster tells us the survivor's story. The clips become gradually more harrowing as they chronicle the camper's past. We see clips from season three here, their makeshift raft and their escape attempts, their arrival and subsequent adventures on the Manticore Island. There's the Spinosaurus there. And then we rapidly flash through a number of the dinosaur action sequences from the original show. We survived because we had each other. It seems that the best aspect of Camp Cretaceous, the bond between the characters and the characters' development, is going to strongly continue in Chaos Theory. At least that's the implication here. The titles then tell us six years later. So six years after their rescue, which presumably puts us months prior to the events that we see in Jurassic World Dominion. Wind chimes echo in the wind as we see the outside of Owen's cabin. No, not really, but it is a cabin in the woods and Darius opens the door attempting to strike with a stun rod before we see that the person at Darius's door is actually Ben. In a voiceover, Ben says try not to freak out while explaining to Darius that someone is hunting them. But why? Who would even want to do that? I don't know for sure, but we need to warn the others before it's too late. Run! We need to warn the others, so Ben and Darius need to let the other campers know that someone is hunting them. What dinosaur mystery or what problem could the New Blast 6 have been caught up in that would cause this? Coming home was only the beginning. 
Presumably Ben's van here drives as it is pursued by another vehicle and on the screen we see Dark Jurassic, seemingly a website similar to Reddit which might be hinting that there is an online community dedicated to tracking the dinosaurs and other events connected to the Jurassic story. Darius is browsing this website and before he flicks to the Dark Jurassic site we see a map of the United States showing several illuminated points. Presumably dinosaur sightings or encounters, similarly to the viral marketing Dino Tracker and bringing to mind the DPG as well. As we saw in the screenshot, Ben hears the dinosaur behind him, likely a raptor, and spins to look. We see a close-up dinosaur eye, again this is presumably the Atrociraptor, close up, and then the two then react to the flashlight, again as we saw in the screenshots just before. Imagine shining your flashlight in your own backyard and seeing those two heads popping up terrifying. Anyway, the final screenshot showed us an Atrociraptor chasing Darius, and now we see that same shot in this trailer before a quick montage of action sequences. Ben's van, I mean we assume this is Ben's van, is being attacked by a dinosaur here. What do you think this dinosaur is? A baryonyx? Not for that sale. No, we think this is one of the rumoured species appearing in the show and now confirmed via toys and other listings I believe. Spoilers if you are avoiding them. The Beckel Spinax, pronounced just how it looks, a new species to the franchise. We think this is the first glimpse we are getting at this new dinosaur. What looks to be an Allosaurus or something similar runs across the road in front of their vehicle. Again, what do you think this dinosaur is? Lots of dinosaur activity in this area wherever Darius and Ben have driven to and it does appear to be Darius driving here. There are a lot of wild dinosaurs around. Dinosaurs seem to be everywhere, perhaps even spreading across the globe. Where do you think they could be? Perhaps Northern California? And then an Atrociraptor jumps in the moonlight at Ben and Darius. You can see that stun rod there. A great way to end a Jurassic trailer with a raptor launching at the screen. We see the Chaos Theory logo and then the date, May 24th. So what did you think of the trailer? We've got a link to the trailer itself in the description, but we hope you enjoyed this breakdown and did you spot anything that we may have missed? Be sure to share that with us below in the comments and let us know if you are excited to return to the animated Jurassic World. Chaos Theory looks to be bringing a lot to the table, terrifying dinosaur action and the next chapter for the new Blast 6. If you head to our channel you can check out videos about the upcoming Gareth Edwards directed Jurassic Park movie along with videos about the upcoming video game that will be taking us back in time to 1993's Isla Nublar. We appreciate all of you who watch our videos, thank you so much for all of the comments and likes over the past year, let us know what kind of videos you want to see and we'll catch you in the next one.